Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, I got a Milwaukee flat chisel. Cost me $12. Goes right in. Turn the lock, and the lock doesn't lock. I mean, it touches, but it doesn't lock anymore. And the reason for that is this pin is worn out. That last statement that you just heard, that was me jumping to a conclusion. This video really isn't about the skill roto hammer although it's going to be featured in it. It's more about problem solving and how jumping to conclusions can lead you far astray. I have a manual on the 731 and the manual does have a drawing but I don't have a drawing of the bit. I have a few pictures off eBay and I'm confused because they keep calling that a three-quarter inch hex. Well, my confusion results in me making a bad assumption. When I'm looking for uh, chisels for this roto hammer, it keeps talking about a three-quarter inch hex. And I'm thinking since the pocket that drives the chisel and drives the drill bits has a hex in it that that's what they're referring to. I didn't get out of anything and measure it. I just looked down in the bottom of the pocket and said, oh, it's a hex. Well, the inside of that uh, chuck is full of grease and it's just dirty as the dickens. So, can't see real clearly in it. So I decided to take it apart, look inside, get a little more information so I can make a rational decision based on facts and data rather than assumptions. And I think those Allen bolts are supposed to have lock washers on them. Just get that feeling. There we go. That's out. Yeah, that's supposed to be back in there like that. That's supposed to actually hook into that. That chisel I keep grabbing up and trying, it doesn't fit never will. It's the wrong shape. It's an octagon, not even a hex. And the drill bit is supposed to engage this hex. I don't think this is supposed to just pound against that. I think this is supposed to slide inside there and then right on that. Not supposed to pound on the outside front face of this thing. I think I need to turn this down so it slides up into that. That means this is going to be back in there ways this is fairly deep. I want to pound against the bottom of that. I don't want to pound against the front face of it. I want to pound against the bottom inside of that socket so that this thing is acting like a pin and driving there. So that narrow space has to be at least that long. That's going to put this
in that far and engage that hex. That'll be good. And I can grind out. Might be able to make this work. I can put some weld on that. Might crack. Probably have to preheat it, weld it, and then quench it. If it doesn't snap off, I'll be good. If it does, then i got to make one out of a bolt. But I think I can weld that up. I'm still stuck on the idea that the pin is worn out. Not enough facts. Turn this Very little data. And grind a notch. in the hex. Because originally I thought just like this is in the flat. And that sounds like a winner. I mean, that sounds like a good idea. Except it doesn't go in far enough. And that would hit on the cup. Which would be hell on the driver. That would peen the inside of that thing completely over and cause a heck of a mess. Probably destroy this thing. But I can turn that down so it'll slide inside that hex because this is supposed to just slip in there. It's not supposed to be driven by that. This is a chisel. It's supposed to stay. That's why this hex is there to keep that in line so that you can hold your chisel in line. I need to turn that down and weld that up. Once an idea takes root, it's hard to kick it out of the thinking. I really want to weld that pin. What I really should do is clean it up and get a better look at it. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. And while you're here, why not hit the subscribe button? 